So what if I say, I get one Costco card out here. <laughs> My membership to the Costco Nation. <laughs> Whatever privileges that may give me. Because they never give up. The only reason why we're here today is because our kupuna will never give up. I want you guys to remember that. They're not the crazy ones. The crazy ones are the ones who gave up. Never forget that. Never forget that. 1997, 38, 39,000 people signed the petitions saying, we refuse. We do not accept to be taken by the United States. And we all should know that. There is no confusion. What a kupuna thought. The confusion is today. Because we were taught. How many of you guys learned about that in school? The brothers are right. That's culture side, that's ethnocide. That's manipulation by the powers to be. They want us to forget. You see, that's the key. When we forget, when we don't know, we are under their control. Simple. But see, get on remedy. The remedy is education. The remedy is truth. The remedy is sharing and understanding our history, uncle. Fear of the truth. Fear of asking those hard questions keeps you in the cage. And what's the worst cage? The cage of ignorance. As the great Buddha said, the greatest impurity is ignorance. <clears throat> so today I'm here to talk about the idea of Kanayo Lovalu. And let me just pass. Passing this out too. There's a lot of stuff there, so I gotta work quick. I know, I know, I'm gonna try. <laughs> Might as well send this out too. This is nation building, it's education. And I'm an educator. And when I, as I tell my students, never believe one word I say. That's the truth. You should know for yourself. You should find out for yourself. You should question, Kaleko, how you know? I'm not going to point you to the records, go find out. Because I'm not here to bullshit anybody. I'm not here. I'm not trying to play no game. I, I get no, I don't want any fancy advertisements spending millions of dollars on the ad. Yeah. Sign your name here. Don't ask any questions. I don't have any kind of fancy flyers. Millions of dollars spent on some uh, lobbyists in Washington, D.C. That's not me. You know what I get? It's the power of the words of our kupuna and the education of our people. That's all I need for nation building. Papa Maltiano, you know the Hokolea story to me. This is the time. We're going around the world. You know the Va'a. And, this is, and you guys know when I say The confusion is, how I get this idea? We still want that canoe race out here. You know, you get Kanae Ovalu canoe, you get the reinstated canoe, you get all these different canoes that we're racing somewhere, some destination. And I always say, see, that's the confusion. Only get one canoe, only one Va'a. Only get one by Once you understand we are that same va, the confusion is gone. Because then you start to think, well, let's look at Kanayo Ovalu. Let me pass out this one. Let me figure this out. I said, might have this one. I don't know about that. Anyway. You know, they had the OHA ad in the OHA paper by OHA Money funded to Kanayo Ovalu that says, quote, Native Hawaiians who choose not to be included on the official roll risk waiving their right and the right of their children and descendants to be legally and politically acknowledged as Native Hawaiians and to participate. Think about that. That is ugly. And I don't know who was paid, who was paid to write that up for Oha or Kanae Lovalo. But think about that. Is that Hawaiian style? Oh, no. Oh, no. Is that how we treat our Oha? No. No. You don't do what I say, you out of the family. <laughs> See, this is the canoe. This is the Kanae Lovalo canoe. You know the truth is. 
If you read Act 195, and I said, I don't have, I know, I wish I had all day for talking about Act 195. If you were there last night, let me just say, everything I talked about last night is not in Act 195. They start about indigenous native Hawaiians in 1778. They skip all that, next thing you know, stay good. <laughs> what, what, nothing happened between 1778 and statehood? See, my, when you learn as a political theorist, as I learn as a student, it's not always what's said in something, it's what they keep out of something. So politically, you keep certain things out because there's a reason. You hide what you don't want people to know. The truth is in 1843, what happened? We recognize independent nation state, that's the truth. 1893, an illegal, unlawful, Military landing of U.S. troops called an act of war by the United States President. 1897, our people united. That's the real name list. You like to see what name list? Look in the back if you get a coffee at hour. I hear people from Kanayalo Valley. Oh, this Kanayalo Valley list is just like a Kuhe with this. Oh, come on. <laughs> I don't know what that person reading. I don't know what they're talking about because if you just got to read this list, read what it says. That's our words that Kukuna signed the names to. Hmm. You know, they signed it up in a matter of months. How many of you guys know that? And when they went around, the Hawaiians just crawling out of the valleys to come and sign up. Yeah. <coughs> they never had to get sleep propaganda campaigns made. In fact, I cannot wait to see the counting of how much at the end is being spent on Kanailo Valu and the Road Commission. I know back in January, when I calculated, it was something like $160. Per name with Kanairo, think about it, each name, $160. I don't know what he said now. And of course, to go save it, they have to go grab Kawi Noah lease and all these lease, throw all the Hawaiians down up there. And now they say, we have 120,000 Hawaiians signed up for They never signed up for Kanairo Lovalo. That's a lie, we know that. Yeah. Yeah. But you see, when you gotta be slick, something is telling you something is wrong. If the people never come forward, that's telling you something is wrong. You know, Queen Ilio Kalani said, the voice of the people is the voice of God. How come you guys look in here? Mm. Amen. How come? I don't know. I wonder whose voice you guys listening to. How come we don't can take the $10 million, whatever in Kauai North? And we don't, we don't have educational campaigns out there like this. Yes. Yeah. How come? Huh? I said the brothers were saying, they know, see the thing is they know the truth. They know we've been bamboozled, and we've been bamboozled again. So when you look at this act, if you guys look at there, you're going to realize, they don't mention about our nation state status. They don't mention about the illegal occupation. They don't talk about the United States has no annexation. They don't talk about there's no transfer of the title of our lands. We know that. And we're tired of telling you guys to speak truth. So as I, as I shared last night, if you're going to continue to talk about as John Y. Hay, this great Hawaiian leader, I don't know, I don't see him in the Hawaiian community. That's the truth. I don't see him making lao lao fundraisers for our brothers and sisters. I don't see him out there in the immersion schools and we're going to education meetings and fighting with the DOE. That's us. But yet, You know, dead yet. I passed this out earlier. Yeah? Birds of a feather flock together. <laughs> and I see Abercrombie, and I see Colette, and then I see John Wayne shaking hands and all lovey dovey because of some settlement. See, you get me nervous. Because Abercrombie is not a friend. Yeah. He's telling the world, we're giving Mauna care to the. Who the hell is he as a settler in our land to give Mauna care away? Yeah. You guys should be mad about that, please. Yeah. But then, I would tell you, F you. You're a settler in this land. How dare you think like that? And you know what? People are mad. I hope you guys listen to the people. And anybody that's coming up, if you went to the community meetings, you're going to hear from the people. The people are here. Look at this. The people are here. And then, we know two months ago, thanks to Facebook nowadays, 
<laughs> former governor Kanailova. I don't know where he gets his authority to go step anywhere he goes. Who of you gave him the right to go negotiate for us? Which Kanaka told him go and negotiate for us? We know his best friend's law firm gets over a million dollars. Yeah. To be lobbyist, that's true. That's true. Let's speak the truth. That's true. Some guys make money off of this. Yes. For what? For money. To push us to become like American Indians and treat and step and shit on like how they get treated. <laughs> we know this. Look at this picture. Yeah, and I ask right now, and I say to the board, I refuse to accept that you have the right to negotiate our behalf. Yeah. Yeah. You do not have that right. Give a damn it. Governor gives you that right. Who the hell is the governor to tell us that he has the right to, to tell us what we want? Act 195, and people, look at the top of Act 195. Right here. Approved by the governor. That never came from our people. That never came from our people. And I tell you right now, as I said before, if OHA right now says Act 195, we have nothing to do with Act 195. We sitting together, we will create a nation together. I'm there. Yes. Yes. Because I believe and I know this, the political series. The dominator can never free the dominated. The oppressor will never give the oppressed away to free themselves. The settler will never let the native free themselves. It's only us, yes. to our own strength, our own commitment. You know, going back to the VAR, You know when I Kupuna came to these islands 2,000 years ago? When they traveled to Southeast Asia on a va, it wasn't the ones who were sleeping in the morning. It wasn't the lazy ones, the confused ones. You know who came on that va? The best and the brightest. And the best and the brightest moved to the Pacific. And they came to these lands here. And they settled here and they created a great place here. Blessing. Think about that. And from that families, our society. And then by 1893, there were less than 40,000 of us. That's it. You know, between 800,000, million of us were yet at contact. Only 40,000 was there. Only one in 20 survived. Think about that. Only one in 20 survived. And you know all of us here, all the Kanaka here, we're the remnants of that. Koino Napua, that's us. That's us. Our kupuna made it true and we made it true. And I look at this and I say, I refuse to accept mediocrity. I refuse to accept the idea that we cannot be united. And the only reason we're not united is because people allow the dominator, the settler, to disunify us. But the compradors who come in, who make cash off of this, and I say to all of you here, if you believe in Kanaila Abalu, good for you. And right on. But this Kanako here, I'm gonna struggle against it. And I tell you guys now, I will be there at the convention opening to struggle. And I'll let the world know that we Hawaiians do not support that process. And I tell you right now, I talked to plenty Kanaka who will be there with me. We refuse to, and I asked Oha, and I actually begged Oha right here, and I'm telling you guys, I beg, I told you guys last year, Let's do a process, which we all on the table. How come Johnny Kelo from California, you guys so worried about his sticking on his canoe? He can go. But you know the Kanaka over here fight every day. We live our lives every day, lao lao sell, whatever we gotta do to function. Because I'm educated, because I can read. Kaleko, you discriminated against, you don't can come on. You gotta pretend like you don't know your history. You gotta pretend like you don't can read then you can come on. See, to me, there is a way. Kanayal Ovalo, and those of us who say, I don't like sign anything that diminishes my right as a Kanaka. I come in under the petitions. Yes. That's all I need. And we sit together, and we do what we need to do. But there's no way that Abercrombie is gonna tell thumbs up or thumbs down to us. So. And I'd just like to say, trustees, I apologize if I yell, 
But you go. Yeah. Yeah. We are in the 11th hour with all of this. And I don't want to go and fight. But if I got to fight, I go to fight. Yo.